go. Hello, my people. It's your Negro with Aptitude and host of the Blackboard, Mickey Lee. Welcome to Money Mondays. I hope your week has been off to a great start. I know that I am very grateful for a lowering of the temperature, at least here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I don't know where you're listening from, but we had been in a frying pan for several days and now we're somewhat in the freezer. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me for another segment of Money Mondays, the show where we celebrate black and African entrepreneurship and how to get that bag. All right. Uh, earlier today, I was in a Target doing some shopping and I went through the wine section and I was looking for a particular brand of wine, which I won't mention in this particular um, episode, but I was looking for a particular brand of wine. I, I don't drink wine too often and anybody who knows me knows I really only like alcoholic things that uh, taste like um, punch, <laughs> taste like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a lemon drop, there's got to be a uh, far more drop than lemon. <laughs> if it's got to be sangria, it's got to be like, you know, Kool-Aid with a little wine. <laughs> so um, I tend to drink things that are that look elegant, but are on the sweet side. Anyway, I was perusing the shelves and I saw a wine called Black Girl Magic. So I had to pick it up and take a look at it. And then I noted the name, the McBride sisters. So I came back and did some research on them. Turns out the McBride sisters were united um, in 1999. They are two sisters, uh, half sisters that grew up about 7,000 miles, 7,000 miles and two countries away from one another. But they both had a shared passion for winemaking. And when they were united in 1999 and discovered so many parallels of their lives, they got together and opened a winery. And so they have a lot of product out there from coast to coast. Um, their first year in business on this particular venture was 2010. And they um, achieved sales of $5 million in that first year. Now they're coast to coast and they, ha they have one of the largest, uh, well, they're called black owned. And on this channel, I wouldn't actually refer to them as black, but biracial. But they are branded as the largest black owned uh, winery in the nation. In any event, um, I wanted to do a story about them because, of course, that is an industry which is mostly male dominant, male dominated, and uh, and white dominated. So, let's check out the McBride sisters' wines. The McBride sisters are Robin and Andrea McBride, both daughters of um, Kelly McBride, who um, 
is is now dece- deceased. Uh, Robin McBride grew up with her mother in Monterey, California, and Andrea grew up with her mother all the way down in the South Pacific country of New Zealand. When they met for the first time in 1999, while getting to know one another, they found a lot of parallels in their life, including their lifelong desire to be in the winemaking industry and the fact that they had grown up in wine, two of the most highly uh, cultivated winemaking regions in the world. So they got together and they created the McBride Sisters Collections. Um, one other thing that they are very well known for is catering to the taste of black wine drinkers. So they are making sure that their wines are reasonably and affordably priced. They have a, a couple of line of wines that are $20 and under, but that they also are very, um, cognizant of the differences between black wine drinkers and other types of wine drinkers. The McBride sisters are also heavily involved in ensuring that women, in particular black women, are developed professionally and are given the tools and resources that they need to thrive in their respective industries. So they have a current campaign, She Can Thrive 2020, in which woman owned, I'm sorry, black woman owned businesses can apply for grants uh, and resources to recover from the pandemic or to uh, that seed money in order to take that idea to full implementation or at least actions towards implementation. I'm leaving the um, link in the description box for three, She Can Thrive 2020. The deadline is November the 2nd. So who is eligible to apply? Black women owned businesses that are um, needing seed money to either recover from the pandemic or if you have an idea and you're opening a business, this is seed money to get that business started. And again, the deadline is November the 2nd. So go and check out the McBride Sisters collection if you haven't already. Again, as I've said, they're available in stores from coast to coast. I have found them in Target. They're apparently available in stores like Kroger, maybe in Sprouts. Uh, someone else had mentioned finding them in Trader Joe's and others have found them in BevMo. So you can uh, call your local store or you can check out the McBride uh, Sisters uh, website. Again, I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description box below and learn more about where they're located. They are known as the first African-American sisters to start a winery and also the largest black owned winery in the United States. I also want to take a pause here and note something else. Both of these women, though I would not call them black because their mothers are actually not black, but they're living lives as um, black women. And they and I think that the black community has enough love uh, that we can we can share with folks um, if they mean us good. And I, I do want to emphasize that because there are a lot of our culture seems to be constantly up for uh, grabs by other people who are not who do not share our lineage. Um, and so you have someone like an Obama or Kamala Harris who want to claim blackness, but actually have never done anything for the black community. These two women I'm going ahead and featuring on Money Mondays because they are heavily invested in improving um, the black community. I also want to say this. Uh, they are two daughters of a man who really wasn't involved in the lives of either. And unfortunately, that is the case that so many black men have decided not to be involved in the lives of their children uh, for whatever reason it is. The um, 
full responsibility of raising the children is on the women that these men have made the, these, and I use that word debatedly, uh, you know, um, that these guys have made the, the children with. And over and over we see, uh, despite these rather messy uh, starts, these children, especially these black women, grow up and do fantastic things that really are black girl magic. I would say God's black girl's magic because there really is something I think spectacularly different between black women and any other type of women on the planet and black women versus uh, black men. Um, and I would like to say to any guys that hear this that are not involved in your children's lives, black guys in particular, you know, there's a saying in the Bible that the stone, the builders rejected becomes the co cornerstone. And of course, that's referring to Jesus Christ. But I would say as a people, ADOS people in particular, which are rejected by everyone, uh, are actually is actually the stone that everyone has used to build their success. And I would say black women who are rejected by everyone. Unfortunately, that includes oftentimes other black women. We are really the super hyper uber cornerstone upon which all other people are building their success. So I do wish these McBride sisters continued success. For those of you black women that are out there and looking for a little seed money to continue your business, start your business, recover your business after the pandemic, please be sure to follow the link and um, fill out the application for the She Can Thrive 2020 grant process. Again, that deadline is November 3rd. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this particular episode of Money Mondays. And we'll see you again on Waste Not Wednesdays. It's your Negro with Aptitude and host of the Blackboard, Mickey Lee, signing off. Mm -hmm.